Hello everyone, I am Lili Trivedi from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology and today we will study about forced damped vibration. Now, before starting this session, first of all we have to understand what the forced damped vibration is. As we have already studied about damped vibration and free undamped vibration. In this case, we have to consider that the additional force will tend to apply on the system. Suppose in general likewise the motors or turbines or our IC engine. In so many cases there are, e uh, there are the force impact in an equal interval of time. Hence in our case we have to consider that each and every force is the simple harmonic force and we have to apply it on the system. So let us assume the force applied is simple harmonic one. So the force is F0 sin omega t. Our system will represent as the fixed support having a spring and a dashboard which is having the mass and in addition to that we have to put the force on the system which is F0 sin omega t. So now if we want to assume that this mass will move with respect to the force applied in the downward direction having x displacement. So let us check the free body diagram of this mass. So here if this x is the displacement we have the free body diagram likewise the inertia force as mx double dot spring force which is kx and damping force which is cx dot. And in the downward direction, there is a force which is F0 sin omega t. Okay. So, this is our free body diagram of our system. Now, if you see, three forces are tend to apply on the upper direction and one in the downward direction which is F0 sin omega t. So, in this case, we can write the equation as mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to f0 sin omega t. Now here let us assume uh, sometimes the force is applied and sometimes not or in general if you want to understand this let us assume it is completely depend upon sin omega t. So if where omega t is 0 the equation should be mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to 0 kind and when the value is maximum, the equation should be like this mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to f0. So, it is solely depend upon sin omega t value. Hence, we have to consider the two basic solution of this equation. It means displacement x is having two answers which is xc and xp. So, here xc is known as complementary solution. It means if the force applied or not applied, the equation is as it is working, okay? And xp is a particular integer, okay? xp means where the force is tend to apply on the system, we have to consider that equation. Now, let us have xc which is complementary solution and the equation is mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to 0. So, for if the system is under damped, then we can write xc is equal to x1 e raised to minus zeta omega and t sin omega dt plus pi 1. Okay. Now let us find out the particular integral equation. So if we have particular integer xp is equal to x sin omega t minus pi. This is our assumed value. So that we can write x dot p is x omega cos omega t minus pi and x double dot p as minus x omega square sin omega t minus 5 as our solution. Okay. Now, for solving this equation, we can use any of this method, graphical or analytical. It means there are two methods, graphical as well as analytical. If you ask me about this thing, then I must have to say the graphical method is comparatively very easy. Okay. Now, let us start the graphical method. This is our... Uh, Free body diagram having mx double dot cx dot and kx in the upward direction and f0 sin omega t in the downward direction. Now we can write the equation as instead of x uh, we have to write that xp because in this general case we have to find out the 
particular integer value. It means we have to write mx double dot uh, mxp double dot plus cxp dot plus kxp is equal to x0 sin omega t. Now let us put the equation. So here instead of xp double dot we have to write minus x omega square sin omega t minus phi. Instead of x dot p we have to write x omega cos omega t minus phi. And instead of xp we have to write x sin omega t minus phi. Okay, so here we have the equation is f0 sin omega t plus m omega square x sin omega t minus phi minus c omega x cos omega t minus phi minus kx sin omega t minus phi is equal to 0. Now here in our case because we have cos omega t value and each and every value is in the sine form hence we have to convert the cos in the sine value. Then how can we convert it? We have to add plus pi by 2 value in this equation. So let us add f0 sin omega t plus m omega square x sin omega t minus phi minus c omega x. We have to write sin omega t minus phi plus pi by 2 minus kx sin omega t minus phi. Okay. So now this is our equation f0 sin omega t plus m omega square x sin omega t minus phi minus c omega x sin omega t minus 5 plus 5 by 2 minus kx sin omega t minus 5. Now if you see it will represent the force equation okay in a sine form. Now we are having the forces value as f0 and angle omega t. Having the force value of m omega square x and angle omega t minus 5. Having the value of force c omega x and angle as omega t minus 5 plus 5 by 2. And value of force which is kx at an angle omega t minus 5. So let us draw first of all check what is the angle omega t and what is the force f0. So let us draw f0 at an angle omega t. Second is force m omega square x and at what angle omega t minus 5 angle. So let us draw m omega square x force angle omega t minus 5. Now third which is the force C omega x and at an angle omega t minus 5 plus 5 by 2. But if you see the direction of that force it means that value is a negative. Negative it means it should be in the opposite direction. Hence we have to draw C omega x in the downward direction which is in the negative direction which is C omega x. And kx angle is similar as m omega square x. But kx is also negative hence we have to draw in the opposite direction. So let us draw kx in the opposite direction. So this is our force direction. Okay. So this is the uh, angular position of the forces. And now let us solve the diagram. First of all draw f0. And name the force as OA. Now let us draw m omega square x. And name the vector as AB. Now let us draw C omega X and name the vector as BC and draw CO name the vector as KX. Now let us draw the parallel line with respect to the BC from A and name it AD. It means AD is parallel to BC and the angle between FO and KX force is 5. Okay. So now this is our force diagram or force polygons. So by the, with respect to this force polygon let us solve. So as we have a diagram and a triangle OAD as you see. So if we want to solve this triangle OAD we can easily find out the tan phi value. So what is tan phi? It is AD by OD. Now what is AD? It is OC minus DC and what is AD? It is BC. Now let us put the values so that we can write C omega x upon kx minus m omega square x. Okay. So that we can find tan phi is equal to C omega upon k minus m omega square. Now let us divide at denominator and numerator with respect to k. We will get C omega by k upon k minus m omega square by k as tan phi value. Okay. So now let us solve this C omega by k. Let us multiply and divide with cc. What is cc? It is critical damping coefficient. So let us multiply and divide with cc. What we will get? We will get c by cc 
cc omega by k and what is cc it is 2m omega n so finally we can write c omega by k as 2 zeta omega by omega n and finally we will get 2 zeta r when we okay now let us solve another part which is k minus m omega square by k so it is k by k minus m omega square by k so finally we will get k minus m omega square by k as 1 minus r square so that 10 pi can be written as 2 zeta r upon 1 minus r square so phi is 10 inverse 2 zeta r upon 1 minus r square so this is the value of 10 pi now again let us have this triangle OKD. So with respect to this triangle, we can solve according to Pythagoras, we can solve the equation OA is equal to, we can write under root of AD square plus OD square. Let us put the values of, value of AD as well as OD and finally we will get the answer of X as F0 upon under root of C omega square plus K minus M omega square whole square. Okay, so this is the x value. Now let us divide and multiply with k. So if we divide and multiply with k for this equation, we will get the final solution as f0 by k upon 2 zeta r whole square plus 1 minus r square whole square. So this is our x value. So the final solution as we can write, which is x is equal to xc plus xp, we can write x1 e raised to minus zeta omega nt sin omega dt plus phi plus f0 by k upon 2 zeta r whole square plus 1 minus r square sin omega t minus phi. So, this is our final solution. Okay. Now, let us check our analytical method. So, this is our diagram, free body diagram. Let us write the equation m x p double dot plus c xp dot plus kxp is equal to f0 sin omega t. Let us put the values of xp double dot, xp dot and xp. So here by putting all these values, we can write and common out the values so that we can write kx minus m omega square x sin omega t minus phi plus c omega x cos omega t minus phi is equal to f0 sin omega t. Now let us solve the equation and let us have the value of sin omega t minus phi. So what is sin omega t minus phi? We have to write sin omega t cos phi minus cos omega t sin phi. Same as what is cos omega t minus phi? It is cos omega t cos phi minus sin omega t sin phi. Now further solve this equation and we have to common out the value of sin omega t as well as cos omega t. Okay and by this we will get this kind of equation. So, suppose we are having this equation. Now, let us compare sin omega t part with the sin omega t part at right hand side and cos omega t part with the 0. So, first of all compare sin omega t part. So, that we will get here this is our equation x k minus m omega square cos phi plus c omega sin phi sin omega t is equal to f0 sin omega t. So, at both the sides, sin omega t can be cancelled. So, finally, we will get x as f0 upon k minus m omega square cos phi plus c omega sin phi. Now, we have to compare cos omega t value with 0. So, let us compare what is the equation c omega cos phi minus k minus m omega square sin phi cos omega t is equal to 0. So, finally, we will get sin phi by cos phi as c omega upon k minus m omega square. So, 10 phi we are getting the same equation 2 zeta r upon 1 minus r square. So, finally phi is equal to 10 inverse 2 zeta r upon 1 minus r square. Okay. Now, for find out the value of sin phi and cos phi, we have the sin phi by cos phi value. What is sin phi by cos phi? It is c omega upon k minus m omega square. So, here let us check. This equation it is k minus m omega square and c omega. So, in the denominator we can write under root of c omega square plus k minus m omega square also. So, according to this triangle we get sin phi as 
c omega upon under root of c omega square plus k minus m omega square and cos phi s k minus m omega square upon under root of c omega square plus k minus m omega square whole square. Okay. So now let us put the above values in our equation. This so this equation is x is equal to f0 upon c omega square plus k minus m omega square whole square. So finally by dividing this equation we will get the answer as x is equal to f0 by k upon 2zr whole square plus 1 minus r square whole square. So this is standard x equation. Now what is magnification factor? So magnification factor is the ratio of amplitude by the static amplitude. And what is static amplitude? It is F0 by K. So that magnification factor is F0 by K upon under root of 2ZR whole square plus 1 minus R square whole square into 1 upon F0 by K. So here the magnification factor can be written as 1 upon under root of 2ZR whole square plus 1 minus R square whole square. So this is our forced damped vibration, graphical and analytical method as well as magnification factor. If you have any query, you can ask. Thank you.